speaker, Dr. Vanita Pathakare, who will, speak, will be speaking on extensional coniotomy with KDB. So Vanita is one of the pioneering MIGS surgeons, and she's the first one who has practiced all these MIGS surgeries, a renowned surgeon from Center for Sight, Hyderabad. So we look forward to all her MIGS talks, and today she'll be uh, sharing her experience on the KDB. So over to you, Vanita. Thank you so much. Uh, very good afternoon. I hope it's afternoon now, yeah. Good morning, sorry, to all our international guests, as well as national ones. I've been asked to speak on, um, it's not moving forward. It's not moving forward. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I've been asked to speak on excisional goniotomy, which I feel should actually be called a goniectomy, and I will show you what I mean by that. So minimally invasive procedures are preferred throughout the body. Every specialty wants to do it because of the faster operating time, high safety profile, rapid recovery, and improved quality of life. This is the most important thing, patient-centric. Cost notwithstanding, patients do prefer it. And open surgery is still a fallback, especially in advanced cases. So why should glaucoma be deprived of its innovations? Its innovations have been in the form of MIGS, which, like anti-glaucoma medications, utilize natural physiological pathways, like the trabecular meshwork, supracoroidal space, and ciliary body avoiding the unnatural drainage that trabeculectomy is, that we do in trabeculectomy. For this, you need a good view of the angle because it's mostly ab internal. So a new skill must be acquired. So there are various classifications. I'm not going to go through that. But mix currently available in India are not that many. And I forget, forgot to include Tanito microhook. We do have um, a few that are TM or Schlem's canal based. And of course, we have cyclooblative procedures, which I do quite a lot. So there's a man there are many ways to skin the same cat, which is the trabecular meshwork. You can use a needle, you just heard. You can use Tanito microhook, which actually <laughs> Devan is going to talk about, but unfortunately, his uh, presentation is after mine. You have the cyan, you have the trabectome, you have the Kahook dual blade. And that is what I'm going to talk to you about today. It was launched in the US in, the two, in 2015 and is designed to achieve near complete removal of the trabecular meshwork with minimal surrounding tissue damage. It has a sharp tip with a taper. It has a ramp which stretches the trabecular meshwork and dual blades which cut it precisely. And a heel that fits within the Schlem's canal which is just about 230 um, microns in meridional diameter. So let's have a look at this one. This was a fake AKI, angle recession, young patient, 45 pressure, five drugs. <clears throat> you have to be careful in such eyes. You should not be damaging the ciliary body band and remove only the trabecular meshwork. A little regurgitation is always welcome. And you see with this, such a precise cut of the trabecular meshwork is achievable. Yet another patient, this is actually angle closure. You're not seeing the trabecular meshwork very clearly because there are lots of goniosynechae in the background. But as and when I cut, you can see it widening. And you can see <coughs> unroofing of the Schlem's canal in a very precise fashion. Again, I remove the trabecular meshwork, and you will shortly see it on a sponge, <coughs> and therefore, for me, this is goniectomy, not an otomy. <clears throat> Postoperatively, nice picture of unroofed Schlem's canal. So there are many publications um, which have talked about KDB in various different etiology. And there has been a review as well, which has shown fairly favorable results. But I'm a firm believer of presenting my own experience. And here it is. <clears throat> when I have combined it with FACO in mild to moderate POAGIs, I have received, I have got over 30% reduction in pressure, over 80% reduction in medication, over 90% surgical success, 
zero reoperation rate and no serious site threatening complications. <clears throat> The complications that I have faced are transient hyphema. I have not seen a level so far, but transient IO, IOP spike in the first week may actually happen much more commonly. I've seen pigment deposition. You can see there, white arrow shows you that. You can have goniosyneke or pass formation. And so far, I have not had to do any redo surgery. I'd like to share with you a case study of a 66-year-old male, PACG, with cataract on five drugs in the right eye, four, sorry, five drugs in the left eye, four in the right eye. And this is how he presented to me. Obviously. <laughs> IOP is important. It was totally uncontrolled and had early cataract, like I said. And gonioscopy was open only 270 degrees. His disc was uh, very cupped in the left eye, and the visual field was corresponding to that, with fixation being involved. Le the um, right eye field was absolutely fine. So I stopped all his medication. Dimox was commenced. And this is how he looked after I discontinued all the anti glaucoma medication. And as a reminder, you have the pre-photos there as well. So what did I do? I actually did not just KDB, but I combined it with the ECP in his left eye. And this was done in August 2023. I feel that this combination is synergistic in fashion. Inflow and outflow are taken care of. And six months post-op, his vision is 66 six, uncorrected, white and quiet eye, pressure of 11, but I have kept him on some medications because it's very advanced, glaucoma, and only once daily application. Before I did his left eye, I actually did his right eye with ECP, and he's without any medication in that eye. So I'd like to share with you the results of combining KDB with ECP. Now, what you're seeing there first is FACO KDB in mild to moderates. So a pressure of 19 reduced to 12.9, 13 maybe, and two drugs reduced, right? And when I combined KDB with ECP in advanced glaucoma, again, fairly good results. I see a reduction in low teens. I see a reduction in medication. And what? I avoid any sight-threatening complications. There was certainly no loss of vision. <clears throat> so the key points I'd like to share with you right now is that there are, there are a limited number of MIGs available in India. But unlike TRAB and tubes, they utilize natural pathways. KDB is quite efficacious in reducing IOP and eliminates AGM to quite an extent very safe and mix, you know, preserves the conjunctiva. You can still do a trap and is easily combined with cataract surgery. It's safe in advanced glaucoma too. Thank you very much for a patient hearing. Thank you, Vanita, for your excellent presentation and very instructive case studies. So now we go back to Dr. Devendra Maheshwari, who will be covering microhook trabeculotomy. <laughs> 